All right, I don't care where we drop. Have you been uh, playing, what was it, World of Warcraft you were playing for a while? Yeah, I played it for a while, and then I quit playing it. I got burned out on it. Ah. Uh, but it's one of those grindy games. It's like right before you get the justification of finishing something, <laughs> they just prolong it more, and I just I got tired of. That's horrible. Not really tired of the grind, but just tired of having the. Yep, you know, that's one of those games, kind of like apex in a sense where you have to like log in every day and then put in like at least like five to six hours of your time and i didn't want to do that anymore i was gonna say nah don't have time for that at all i'd rather just have a game where i can sit down have you know that little bit of something that i can like have i don't want to say quick gratification with but something that something that's i could just you know yeah that sits down and i could just you know just chill and play and not have to worry about it that's what I'm gonna do with Hogwarts Legacy. I actually get it on the seventh because um, I pre-ordered the deluxe edition. It's one of those things for me that I didn't like. I never like really got into Harry Potter. Like my brother was like super big into it. He like read all the books and stuff. I've watched like few of the movies, but it's like it's not one of those things that like ever like grabbed my attention. I guess. That's the thing with Harry Potter though is it either grabs your attention or you're just not interested people say all the time it's a really good movie it's just not my kind of movie which that, is fair I mean, yeah it's not every kind it's not everybody's favorite movie you know i was gonna say that's totally respectable like i mean i'm sure maybe at some point like i'd go back and like watch the movies but it's not something that i don't know it's like i really like the like the fantasy and stuff of it it's just there's something about oh, yeah. those movies that I've just I don't know maybe it's because I I tried watching them because I've noticed lately but stuff that I've watched when I was younger I hated for example Star Wars I hated it when I was younger <laughs> and then I go back and I start watching it again I'm just like wow this stuff actually kind of slaps. Throw your ultimate like right here. And then Ooh I can steal you stuff. Shield. You can, you can steal one thing out of the vault. If it has a lock on it, you can only steal one thing. On okay, it. so I better grab other stuff before. Yeah, so grab whatever else other than the stuff that's locked and then grab the shield that's locked. So you'll, you know, get your loot. Is it better to have the, 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 like the gold, like body armor? Or is it better to have like the body shield or like the Evo shield? The gold body shield heals up faster. Uh, purple heals up uh, slower, obviously, because you have to use a shield cell one by one or a bat. The the beneficial thing with a gold body shield is you stay in the fight longer. Cause Honestly, like, Fortnite was, like, my super grindy game that I would play. And then, like, I would always jump on Apex just to have, like, fun and just, like, play around with stuff. It looks like the next couple of uh, seasons, uh, Apex is turning over a new chapter. It's not called Seasons anymore. It's, they're starting a whole new... Mm. So like it's, they're, they're doing chapter chapter two season one now. So oh, okay. That being said, I think Apex is gonna start going in a direction that they should have been going in a long time ago, catering to more of the casual pl fair player base player base because if you don't cater to the casual player base enough, you're not gonna have as much sales. Yeah. There's a lot of pub stompers and stuff like that that don't play anymore because it's just not fun playing pubs of those type of people like i don't like necessarily want to get like super good at apex i'm one of those type of people who enjoy playing apex and then i enjoy watching algs and then fortnite you know i i started off that way in fortnite and then i you know i wanted to get better at fortnite and then it get, got to the point where i was literally i don't know like best way to phrase it losing my mind trying to <laughs> trying to play it i i was really into fortnite when fortnite first came out and then I like the, the kids actually just beat me to it. Like, I didn't progress with the kids that were building absolute monster mon monstrosities. Like I would shoot at them and they'd just start building five star hotels. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I don't think I should be playing this game. So like I was getting like super into it. And then I realized when I started playing with my friends and they just wanted to have fun that I'd literally have like full on mental breakdowns because I wasn't doing good enough. That's how I was on Apex. Too. That's why I went to World of Warcraft, because I just I was getting to the point where I wasn't even having fun. I was just getting mad at everybody else. Yeah, and I'm that that's the point. I knew that okay, I can't be playing Fortnite twenty four seven anymore. Um, you know, started playing like that's when I started playing Apex, and then you know Modern Warfare came out, so I started playing it for a bit, and that's kind of what drove me to not just do Fortnite just 
all Fortnite content on my channel anymore because I didn't want to ever get back to that point again of f almost in the sense of forcing myself to play Fortnite because that's all I felt comfortable or good at playing. Well, I think what made me want to do different content was like I would average when I before I started playing different games, I went from oh, you can pick that up. Ooh, I was nice. averaging like 17 to 30 viewers a day playing Apex. But if I missed one day, my viewership would drop. It's it's like a very tedious thing. And then I went to go to a different game, and I lost a lot of viewership, but I gained a lot of a different, like, fan base, I guess you could say. Like, yeah, the community was a little bit more, like, they're just intrigued on what I was doing, not the game that I was playing. So I was like, okay, I, I like explaining this stuff to people that don't understand it, that want to understand it, so that those people still come in my lobbies every now and then and then they'll be like dang dude you're still playing apex i'm like yeah honestly but... i'm like more the type of like person i'd rather just play games like you know with my you know my friends or like other streamers and stuff where i just have like yeah. actual like entertaining or intellectual you know conversations with people more so than you know, just like sitting there playing the same game that every other streamer is going to be sitting there playing at the second it comes. All right. Um, that ev everyone's viewer count is going to be low. You, you like, like I told one of our guys um, a couple of days ago, you are not the only Apex streamer. The, say 300,000 that are currently playing right now, I would say a good 150 of those thousand are probably streamers. What happened with me in World of Warcraft, I went from nothing on apex because i quit streaming for uh like a month to take a break and then i went to go play world of warcraft and i gained like 30 or 40 new followers in one day just because i was just enjoying myself having fun with a bunch of people yeah what i've noticed too is that it's not so much about what game i stream it's about like more so when i stream and like consistency and just having just legitimate fun with people like i was saying uh, take a battery here see what you mean about it healing quicker too i didn't realize it's starting to get to the uh point of the end game here yeah <laughs> but duos lobbies they die so like or just pub matches in general they're dying so fast that we didn't even come across anybody and we went through a lot of the hot uh drops land on this building over here yeah. all right so there's a team right here to our left and one to our right they're in that building don't go in front of this door. Okay. <laughs> Don't go in front of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machine gun out. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm getting beamed from the team that was behind us. They got on our roof. Over here. Oh, here. Nice. Kind of missed where your zippy was. Heal up. I got you. Oh, but they're on the top of the roof. Sounds like they're like the f other teams are fighting. Oh, I got absolutely shredded. Okay, I did not see them sitting there. Me and you. They were like, okay. Like, I kind of was creeping on top of that, like, roof. Because I thought they all moved back and they were fighting towards the right side. Like, middle right. And yeah. I didn't realize one guy was creeping on me. No! <laughs> Aw, GG's. <sighs> It's like not bad to have to fight the last two teams as the only people that we actually saw in that whole, you know, game.